It starts on a hot, summery August night. The new high school football season begins. Before you know it, the snow will fly, and West Michigan powerhouses will be headed to Ford Field to play in state championship games, which is exactly where one of our Spotlight Games teams played last year, Christian and South Christian. More on that in a minute. First, we've got highlights from the first game of the season. The last two public schools standing kicked off the season at Hausman Field Union in Ottawa Hills. Ottawa strikes first. Rodney Davis to Sean Nealon. 20-yard touchdown. Bengals up 7-0. They have a 21-0 lead right now in the second quarter. Well, there's no shortage of media attention on this big game here in Byron Center tonight. South Christian hosting Grand Rapids Christian in the season open that pits two defending state champions. One of the big storylines for this this game is Christian High's All-American Drake Harris. As we showed you last Friday, Harris pulled a hamstring in the Eagles' final scrimmage. Originally, they thought he'd miss four to six weeks, but Drake tells me he's feeling better each day and wouldn't be surprised if he's back in time for Muskegon. That's hopeful. In the meantime, his teammates will have to try and beat South without him. I mean, it was pretty disappointing. I mean, um... Uh, it's, it's an all part of football, though. I mean, I'm just trying to get over it and get back healthy so I can get back maybe next week or the uh, week after that and just get ready to play. But our team has kind of a next man in mentality. This whole offseason, everyone on our team has been working hard. And so we're confident in the guys that we have, um, no matter who's going out on the field. Uh, well, we want to show people that we're not all Drake, because everybody thinks we're all Drake, but we got plenty of other playmakers on offense and defense that both can play. I, I hate to see Drake Harris go down. You hate to see any athlete uh, uh, have an injury, especially the senior year like that. But um, I'm not going to lie to you, I was a little bit relieved, uh, you know, not having to prepare for him. Now, I could imagine he would be. Best news for South Christian coach Mark Tamming is his quarterback, John Wasink, is healthy again. One of the top junior signal callers in the state. Wasink injured his shoulder during the Sailors State Championship run and missed that title game. The shoulder's healed, and he'll be under center for the Sailors season opener. Absolutely. The, the shoulder's healed up, and, and Johnny's ready to go. There's a kid that, that he hurt so bad last year when he couldn't play in that state championship game. So... Um, this year means so much for him to get back on the field and then prove himself. You know, the, the one thing um, with him, I knew last year when he was warming up for a scrimmage, just by the way he handled himself and conducted the team around him and threw the ball, that he was a special kid. And he's, he's got the moxie, and he's a, he's a true, I think he's a Division One quarterback. Football frenzy crews are fanning out across West Michigan. Spotlight games tonight. Christian South Christian, Portage Central in Sturgis, and the Ottawa Hills Union game. Highlights of up to 21 games for you tonight. Live scoring updates on woodtv.com and also on your mobile app. 